Now, coming back to the idea of thinking like a 180 score, what would a 180 LSAT score be able to do? A couple of creative ideas outside the box here for when you're proficient and you have a strong foundation. You could try writing your own LSAT questions, writing your own LSAT logic games, even mini drills of your own, testing things like conditionality, testing things like the contrapositive. Or you could write a bonus question or bonus LSAT answer choice for a logic game. Just to start to think like an LSAT test maker. This is not to spend too much time on it and not if you're still learning the basics, but down the line, if you're already scoring them when 60s or above, it's worth starting to think about this. You could also try explaining LSAT problems to a friend or study buddy, study buddy or a coach or a tutor. There's something about articulating things, either talking it out or writing it out that forces you to go beyond simply saying, okay, I get it now and moving on. And you could also, as part of your mistake journal review process, writing your own explanations, writing your own thought process out for the LSAT problems that give you trouble to make sure that you truly, fully understand them. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.